Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, we are continuing our nested comment system in PHP and we are on the part 4 now. So guys, this is the last part for this comment system. Okay. So guys, now let's get started with this. So when we click on view, we saw that all the replies to this comment we have viewed over here. So guys, now this is commented by Om Prakash. So let's reply once again and yes man it's good reply okay let's view this reply you can see that under this nice post there are two comments so one is by Om Prakash and now one is by Ved Prakash so guys now what I want again I want to reply to this guy so let's begin with that so first when we click on this a simple input box should come with the reply and cancel button this is the button name as sub reply button I'll just show you you can see that so this is the button sub reply button and yes guys let's get back let's create so jq on click event document the event will be click click event on what click we are going to use with the class called sub reply button which we have taken so let's paste that and let's pass that event e dot prevent default function and now guys let's create a clicked is equal to dollar this okay so when i click this that time when i click this reply sub button i want this first value so let's take this value because it might be useful anytime let's take that it's a comment id so let's mention that comment id with this clicked dot val so when i click this this value will come off inside this comment id so let's keep that aside and now main motto we are going to build the input box when we click this a uh, input box should be ready so take this click this this clicked dot closest value of what is the closest value this sub reply box so this is the reply button when you click that oops when you click that sub reply box and going to find where you're going to append that box so this is my sub reply section that is class so mention dot and then use dot append function so inside this append function we are going to design that so let's take it down and use that design as simple guys I'm going to start with div close the div and not much things input input tag close and now type is equal to text and the class to design form control and placeholder your reply and this input box name will give as sub underscore reply underscore message so this is a sub reply message as simple open div close div and give a class text end and inside this you have to design the button so let's copy this button from the top itself and paste we don't require this value just remove that and use this button button small as simple copy paste so this will be your reply button right so sub reply add button and this is sub reply cancel underscore button very clear mention this cancel and change this to danger primary save and now guys let us see the output for this so first let's get back refresh let's click on view reply reply let's see on console log what's the error 
closest find okay we have given that wrong spelling click on d find refresh let's click on view reply let's click reply you can see that design okay answered so when i click on this reply i want see multiple times it's printing so let's solve that so we are on this reply section so let's take this reply section copy and paste above this dollar single quotes dot class reply section html open bracket close bracket double quotes let's make it to empty and after that we want okay let me just give margin top and bottom to let's view reply click on reply you can see this two things cool so it's now what i want when i reply on this i should take this username and put over here so first you need to go to this case let's move so that case is over here i want one input box inside this so this this output is this okay so let's add one input box input let's give type which will be hidden and add a class for get user name okay and the value is equal to from here you are getting the user full name right so let's copy the same thing and paste over here inside single quotes paste that that's it full name you are going to get as simple so guys when we click this the time you are getting the mm, we need to get this value so same way you are going to copy this paste dot val so what value you are going to get this get username so yes so when you click on this reply button sub reply button it's clicked that time you are going to the closest value and finding this get username so finding the value of it and storing that in a variable called username is equal to that so let's copy this username and pass inside this input box so let's create a value attribute i'm going to use add add symbol and then pass this value over here a simple save it and let's give a space over here now yep guys let's get back refresh let's close this view reply so there is om prakash so let's click on reply over here at om prakash it has come so guys we are almost on the youtube site and the instagram comment thing okay so both things are matching to that so if you want to make optimize this thing linkable clickable it's going to be high end so but this is for commenting system so we'll stop with this so now guys let's click on this cancel so that time this cancel should be headed okay so for that it's very simple code let's copy this and add that jq on click event so instead of typing this again and again let us copy this and paste over here done and change this button name and now so when i click that cancel the time this reply section should be null so let's copy this paste it set refresh view reply and i'm going to reply to this let's cancel cool it's getting cancelled perfect so guys now let us start the code to insert this reply into our comment table comment replies table let's get back now let's type let's copy the same thing and paste let me push this down let's copy this sub reply add button paste over here and remove this so first we need to variable this clicked is equal to dollar this 
and take this value v required variable comment underscore id and then one more variable which will be the reply is equal to so this reply and to whom you are replying so we need those things so first let's click dollar this closest and i'm going to find that and what you're going to find that is nothing but your value so let's tell val so what value are going to because it is a value attribute because of that we are going to check that so first let's get back to chrome refresh okay it's showing an error because this is it's not executed right so let's refresh view reply so when i click on this reply button that time this value i need it okay so over here you can see that it's in a sub reply box so when i click this reply i should get the let's go over here so when i click this reply i have to go to the sub reply box and get the value of this reply button so let's copy that sub reply box i'm going over here closest of sub reply let's uncomment this and go back to this button so this is the button sub reply button where the value is 1 over here so let's get that one value find that value okay so val means which is stored in a value attribute as simple let's save and see we are going to get the reply thing also so as simple let's get back so this is my reply column reply input so i'm going to check with that sub reply box inside this closest value i'm going to get this sub reply message copy this sub reply message cool now we need to store this let's store in a variable called data is equal to where comment id which will be this comment id and then your reply message which will be your this reply and one confirmation to store add sub replies true as simple and now let's call the ajax the method post url code dot php file data which we have already created this data variable is over here and send that data and after this we have to move to code dot php and write the code and get the response in this success so now let's go to code dot php file and write the code get back let's push this below and type a if condition and check it is ajax is awaked or not so we are going to check with the post method where we have set something as true so this add sub replies as true we have set so if it is set then you are going to get comment underscore id oops comment id is equal to dollar underscore post method of the comment id copy this and paste let's paste this in mysqli real escape string function first database connection and then your dollar underscore post method of comment underscore id as simple and then your reply so let's copy this reply message paste and this will be a reply message as simple so let's take the code where is that insert code we have already written so let's copy this and paste that again over here same to same as simple so it is the same thing which we are going to comment id pass the comment id 
user id so user id is nothing but your authenticated user id dollar user id user underscore id is equal to your logged in time so when you are logged in so that time you are getting this authenticated user id let's take that pass it over here and save that data perfect so let's check this user id stored comment id and the reply let's copy this reply message variable and send this okay so this values will store into your comment reply tables and then execute if it is replied it will be comment replied to below i mean comment replied to user will keep that as simple so guys now if it is wrong it will say something went wrong so let's get back and take this response and alert that and send over here so before sending the response i want to empty this when we click on reply i want to re review this okay so for that you can take this reply section dollar reply section dot html refresh empty it okay so let's save refresh let's click on console view and i'm going to reply to om prakash your your welcome let's click on reply okay comment reply to user okay let's view this you can see here it is at om prakash your your welcome you have given the message you so you can see that youtube type comment has come and instagram type has comment system is added now so guys we have successfully completed with this how to give nested replies so this is the main comment so I'll just show you refresh and let's move with the second reply over here. So there is no reply inside this here. It's a reply and let's log out. Login as Om Prakash. Om at gmail.com. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's click on login. So Om Prakash is logged in successfully. Okay. And guys, I'm going to comment on this. View reply, no reply good blog thank you bro let's reply okay you can view see you have thank you bro has come so Om Prakash has commented let's log out login let's give away that gmail.com one two three four five six login okay let's view this reply Om Prakash, thank you, bro. Where I'm going to mention that. Hello. I have a doubt. Let's reply. Okay. View reply. You can see that at Om Prakash has been mentioned for this by the user with Prakash. So, guys, we have successfully cleared about how to make a nested comment system in PHP like YouTube and Instagram too. So thank you once again, please subscribe, like and share.